It's a hundred years since the word surreal was first used, and now you hear it everywhere. What a riot of surreal slapstick. Last night in Cleveland was surreal. I'm just shaking, and it's just surreal. A woman from Brighton who was mistaken for Ivanka Trump on Twitter by none other than the US president-elect himself says it's all rather surreal. For many people, surreal just means bizarre. If you think of surrealist art at all, you'll maybe think of those lonely landscapes littered with melting clocks, floating businessmen in bowler hats, a woman who looks like a violin, a lobster where a telephone should be. But surrealism didn't start out like that. I'm a psychotherapist. I'm no stranger to the world of dreams. In this film, I'm going to take you back to the beginnings of the surrealist movement and trace how their interest in the unconscious mind sparked an explosion of revolutionary ideas that transformed art and cinema and the world around us. Surrealism was never just a visual style. It was a state of mind and a way of life. I'll meet some contemporary artists who can still channel their inner surrealist and see how the experimental ideas of a group of young artists reaching for the absurd in response to a world in crisis would create some of the most recognisable and popular art of the 20th century. And I'll delve into the original surrealist writings for inspiration and have a go for myself. Can you tell me your dreams that you dream when you're asleep? To find out what being a surrealist is really about. You know what, I might put some clothes on. <laughs> <laughs>